Hey guys, Neo here. It's been some time since I talked about the patches, the upcoming patches for Warcraft 3. Uh, it was right in front of 1.28 where I explained uh, what's coming and why it's coming and why it's important that it is coming and why it's uh, good that the balance and delay stuff and the anti-hack protection is delayed to a further point. So since then, some stuff has happened, a few hints are given out and we have an official statement by Blizzard. By Matt Morris, he says, uh, Classic Games has been working hard on Warcraft 3. The patch 1.28 didn't hit all the marks we hold ourselves to. Um, and of course, it didn't hit the marks that we all wanted to. But Blizzard is aware. And the most interesting part is the last one. As we move forward, there will be quality of life, game improvements, editor updates, new map pools, balance tweaks, and more. So, that being said... That's not the biggest news. We've heard this before in 2016. Um, we were promised those changes as well. So that coming from Blizzard doesn't mean too much. First, we have to ask, who is Matt Morris, right? Uh, I've never heard of Matt Morris before, you might say. Matt Morris is working for Blizzard since 1998. Uh, he was a level designer before, then he went on to be a, a co-op designer and now he's a lead designer for Blizzard and he worked on pretty much everything. He had his hands on Diablo, Starcraft, Brood War, even Warcraft 3 as a level designer, uh, World of Warcraft for a tiny bit as far as I know, and he had a big part in Starcraft 2, uh, Legacy of the Void and the co-op missions. So this guy knows what he does, um, he's there for 19 years, so I think people have a lot of trust in him. Uh, and his skills must be great. So he's working in the classic department now. He's working on Warcraft 3 currently. Uh, and that's a pretty good sign, I'd say, that some higher-ups of Blizzard are working on Warcraft 3 now. And there's another thing he posted on the classics forum that are, is uh, way more interesting. Because someone asked, uh, what's coming? Quality of life, blah, blah. And he responded saying, our plan is to set up a PTR for Warcraft so that we can get early feedback from the community about our changes and then make the appropriate fixes. Ladies and gentlemen, Westfall is coming back uh, for Warcraft. We're going to have a PTR. And that they're thinking about a PTR means that they must be somewhere close uh, to presenting those changes. The big thing, of course, is when is it coming? So I went on. From the classics forums of Blizzard to the Hive Network. Uh, Hive Workshop, I always make this a mistake. Hive Workshop, shout out to you guys, the biggest modding community for Warcraft 3 out there. And a big influencer in those patches. And those are the guys who visited the Blizzard studios uh, last year, if I'm not mistaken. So when there's something coming from a few guys of Hive Workshop, you can believe it. So this is a statement I found from a Hive Network official uh on their board. I will be interested to see if your opinion changes after the summer balance patch. Uh, you're like, summer balance patch? What? So, people were asking the same. I'm sorry, I don't understand. And he says, uh, the balance patch for TFT this summer will change a lot of the racial dynamics. It's coming this summer, as it seems. Um, so, summer is not that far away. We have May 16th now. Happy like Wagon Day. So, in around, I think summer is like June to August, so throughout the next one to three months we can expect a bigger patch from Blizzard. And uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. That's another feedback I found by Stop Camping Noob of High Fame. Uh, they've posted about addressing both map hackers and delay already. They'll get into it, but no ETA yet. I'm guessing June for a patch. And that's the info I have as well. June is my info on the PTR. Um, of course, everything can still change. It's Blizzard. Last time I said the patch is coming next week and it was two weeks later. So maybe it's going to be July. Maybe it's going to be something else. I don't know. But uh, another interesting part in this, as we have kind of a conclusion that the PTR with balance changes and map pool changes is coming, they are working on hackers and delay. And, yeah, the hack protection, this is something I found here. Uh, with the new patch mechanism that I explained in the uh, previous video, Blizzard will be able uh, to de detect modification in your game data files and block them uh, some way. So that is, I think, how hack protection works in StarCraft 2. 
And people I've talked to said there's basically no hacking in StarCraft 2. So this might be the way for Warcraft 3 as well. And that is one reason why this patch uh, thing, uh, where we don't have standalone patches anymore, but the new system that you all know by now, I think, is so important. So one of the two biggest things uh, that's annoying at Battle.net right now is addressed already, and that is hack protection. Um, yeah, that's something that underlines this as well. Uh, the anti-cheat job opening for Classic Warcraft was fulfilled as of some months ago. So they're working for it for a long time and they have a dedicated person to deal with this stuff. So the second thing is delay. And there was something very interesting in the recent patch 1.28. Um, there it is. So some people did some data mining. Of course, once again, shout out to Hive. And they found that some functions have been changed um, in the code of Battle.net or Walker 3. So the built-in delay for Battle.net has been reduced to the level of what is LAN and single player. Before, this Battle.net variable here, this 100, was 250. So this points towards a big change in delay for Battle.net. So you might think, okay, if that's in the code already, why do I still have this horrible ping from 10 years ago? Well, we asked a coder at Blizzard, a programmer at Blizzard uh, who's called Brad, who's oftentimes posting in the Hive, uh, Hive Workshop forums as well. And he said, uh, it has not changed in context, it's not implemented. But the code is there, and maybe they just have to flip a switch and then it's working. Maybe they use it for the PTR. Let's see about that. But as the cheat problem, this has been addressed and I think it's pretty close to uh, working. So that sounds good, right? I think what sounds even better is what's coming up for the future. And there was some interesting statements again. Um... This was a post about the patch discussion because a lot of people said, uh, oh, this is all bullcrap, they ruined my maps, uh, nothing is changing, and everything is so slow. Well, the interesting part is the second sentence here. That's what it means to nearly completely remake a game after 15 years. This is a sentence not by a random guy on the board. This is a statement from a guy who is actively con in, in contact with Blizzard and working with them to restore Warcraft 3. That sounds pretty promising. And usually, of course, we heard the rumors. But that's a pretty bold statement from someone who is under an NDA. There's another statement by the same guy, Cam. Right now, the backend work phase uh, to prepare the game for Battle.net 2 integration. That's what we're all hoping for for so many years. And the summer letter balance patch that I addressed uh, prior, as well as um, the influence of Matt Morris. So... Walker 3 is coming to Battle.net 2.0, as it seems. The patch is coming very soon. And what else is coming? I found this. Unlike the team that created Walker 3, they are just here to maintain it. And the answer by another guy who's under NDA with Blizzard is not exactly. So, with the knowledge about StarCraft Remastered, with the knowledge about all the forum posts that I digged up, and with the knowledge of the following video, I think it's pretty safe to assume that Walker 3 will get a remaster as well. And I think some of you might have seen this video before, but for those of you who don't, I will show it to you. This is uh, Pete Stilwell, one of the leaders of the Classic team, explaining um, or addressing the rumors of Walker 3 remaster. And if you take a look in his face at the end of the video, you might get an answer. And you might get an idea what this is all leading to, so let's see what he has to say. One thing that I'm sure a lot of people are going to be asking after they hear the announcement, and maybe even see your title, which is uh, Senior Producer Classic Games. Uh, does games in plural refer to both StarCraft and Brood War, or is this uh, part of a broader initiative at Blizzard here to look at some of these games that still have um, a lot of love from the community, you know, Diablo 2, Warcraft 3, etc.? Uh, and, and maybe do something similar like this to, to those other games. 
So we're hyper focused on the remaster of StarCraft at the moment, but as folks know, we have been patching uh, War Three and D Two. We're we're kind of taking different approaches because we didn't want all three of the games to to be in very different states. So uh, we tried to heal up some of the uh, compatibility issues and and things like that for Diablo Two and War Three while we were kind of doing our pre production and, and spooling up on uh, StarCraft Remastered. So uh, again, once we've got this thing. Uh, shipped and in, in, in the state that we want it to, we'll we'll start looking at the other games. So, uh, nothing official to say today. Okay, you saw his face at the end of this video, right? Nothing official to say today, but maybe in the future. Warcraft 3's birthday is on July 3. Reign of Chaos was released on July 3. Uh, it's the 15th birthday, so 2002, obviously. Maybe that would be a good time to announce something, Blizzard. Too long didn't watch. Patch uh, the new patch is coming. Balance is coming. Map pool changes is coming. Uh, high up guys at Blizzard are working on this stuff. Remaster is very likely. So this is what we know as of May 16th. I hope I will get you some more infos uh, as soon as I can. Of course, here at Back to Warcraft. Take a look at our uh, homepage, backtowarcraft.com, if you want to follow uh, the biggest tournaments in the Warcraft 3 competitive world. And I hope we're going to see uh, each other very, very soon on Twitch and YouTube. Bye-bye.